When it comes to surviving nursing school and passing the NCLEX, it can be incredibly overwhelming finding resources and tools that work for you. And obviously I'm a proponent of online prep, uh, but I also would not have survived nursing school or passed the NCLEX had I not used good old fashioned books. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my top 10 and two bonus books that I swear by for both surviving nursing school and passing the NCLEX. The first is one that actually isn't for nursing school at all, but it is a book called Understanding Pathophysiology, and it is by Holther and McChance. This was a book that I used in my undergrad when I took pathophysiology, and I just loved the way the book was laid out. I brought this with me to nursing school, even though it wasn't required, and absolutely loved it. If you want a shorter version, just uh, 85 pages, for nursing assessment and pathophysiology stuff. This is nursing assessment. It's by us, but it's a head to toe assessment uh, for uh, nursing with pictures. So that is just called nursing assessment with nursing.com. Another book, obviously, that's going to be required that you probably already have is the Davis Drug Guide. Why do I recommend the Davis Drug Guide? Well, it has everything, all the drugs you would ever encounter, and it has a ton of information on it. Now, because it has everything, that also means that it's 1,449 pages. So what we prepared at nursing.com is the 140 must-know medications, which takes the medications you'll most be prescribed for your patients and administer, and it takes out just the most critical information. I didn't have this in nursing school, but it was built off of the meds that I saw in nursing school and I administered on the floor in the neuro ICU. Now I want to show you my absolute favorite book that I found in nursing school that you really must have. Like if you have to get any of these books, this is the one I swear by. It is called Test Success and it is by Nugent and Vitale and it is specifically test taking techniques for beginning nursing students. I love this book. I swear by it. If you get any of these books, get Test Success. Absolutely love that book. Um, another one I'll recommend for comprehensive NCLEX review is going to be the comprehensive NCLEX review by nursing.com. It has stuff for next gen instruction. It's full color, has a bunch of cheat sheets and covers everything you could possibly need to prepare for the NCLEX, including pharmacology, uh, med surge, pediatrics, color coordinated and color coded. And this paper you can easily take notes on and not uh, super glossy. So this is comprehensive NCLEX review and this is the third edition. If you want something that's much smaller, we prepared the NCLEX flash notes, which are just the 77 must know topics. These are going to be the ones that if you want like a crash course to prepare for NCLEX or something to review the night before, or just something to have around available. This is the NCLEX flash notes. And then you could also get 301 NCLEX questions based off of those topics. So that's the 301 NCLEX questions. Uh, we also prepared that in different topics. So for example, here's the cardiac one. We have a renal, we have fundamentals, and there's more coming, but this is the cardiac NCLEX flash notes. So it expounds on this with topics just in cardiac, also, you know, full color and everything. And then that also has the companion NCLEX questions. Let me show you another must have book. This is one that about a month or two leading up to the NCLEX, I started digging into every single day and I would recommend the same for you or any nursing student preparing. And that is prioritization, delegation, and assignment. This was a critical book for me. It's by La Charity. If you just type in on Amazon, prioritization, delegation, and assignment, uh, it gives some instruction on how to prioritize different scenarios that you're gonna see from pharmacology, pediatric problems, uh, renal, urinary. So it has so much in here, but it talks about how to prioritize different disease processes, how to delegate. Man, it's just such a good, such a good book. I highly, highly recommend this one for sure. Another book that I'll recommend if you want something that's entirely visual is going to be the Nursing School Bundle by Nurse in the Making by Kristen. She's awesome. We've met and talked a few times and she prepared this book that's entirely visual. So you might check that one out as well. Two more books that I would recommend. This isn't one that I would necessarily recommend. This was my med surge book and you can see it got some usage while I was in nursing school. And the only reason I would recommend the book's that you're required to get is because of the end of chapter quizzes. And then a lot of times the quizzes that will come like online with them with these different programs. What you'll find is the exams that are given in your 
classes are oftentimes going to align really, really, really closely with that because that's oftentimes where your teachers are getting their question banks. The last book that I'll recommend, 63 Must Know Lab Values. This is also by nursing.com. It's kind of like the 140 meds one, but for labs. So this will really show you the labs that you have to know and just 63 of them because that can be super overwhelming. If these are the only ones you get, you're going to see your grades improve. You're going to see more confidence as you prepare for NCLEX and as you work your way through nursing school. All right, guys, go out, be your best self. Happy nursing.